Hey guys, it's Amy. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a review and also I guess my entire collection of earrings. I'm gonna also throw in all my brooches and also I have a Chanel accessory reveal for you guys. I'm gonna film another video with my entire handbag, designer handbag collection as well. But stay tuned for that one. I'm still working on a couple more maybe before the end of year so I'm gonna wait for that and then do the handbag video. I'm already wearing my first pair of earrings that I bought from Chanel. Actually, these are not even the first pair, but let me just pull my hair back. These are just the very classic CC with rhinestones, champagne gold color, and uh, these are part of their classic line. I think these are one of their smaller or smallest CC earrings. So very classic, um, kind of uh, easy to wear. They're not so in your face that you can't just wear them on, on an everyday basis and I would say that these are pretty good to start with if you want something that you can wear on a daily basis that goes with almost every outfit it comes with gold and silver you can't go wrong with either one I just preferred the gold one when I tried it and when I tried this, these gold ones they seem to just pop more as in like they contrast a little bit better with my skin they seem to be a little bit whiter um, and create this like sparkle whereas the silver ones somehow didn't reflect the light as well on my skin tone for some reason whenever they bring me a new pair or the pair that I would buy I always check the rhinestones themselves sometimes they kind of look a little bit displaced they are only glued on and so far I have not had any issues with any of the accessories that I have from Chanel with rhinestones knock on wood of course None of them have fallen and I don't really have any problems with the quality itself so I'm really happy about that. Um, of course you have to be careful, you don't wear your jewelry in the shower and you always wear your jewelry last and take them off first. My other pair of CCs so you can compare the size uh, like side by side they are quite big of a difference although I do consider these to be medium sizes because they have much larger ones as well is definitely more of a statement it's still not in your face big but it's definitely popping a lot more whereas these ones just seem like they're blending in with my face so there you go that's the difference I'm gonna try to look up all the style codes and include them in the description box to help you guys out if you are uh, in the hunt for the same pair or if you just want to track down the same ones like some of these are seasonal pieces so you may not be able to get them so yeah they're just a little bit bigger they're not super huge not really in your face either they are still quite um neutral and very classic and just very wearable on a daily basis as well some people just prefer a slightly larger more statement earring anyway that's kind of their style which is great and i picked these ones because i wanted something that was silver tone because i have all these gold tone ones that i wanted a silver tone one and i also wanted something that popped a little bit more i think these were my second pair of earrings officially they have this vintage feel to them they have this uh, brighter gold color they're still kind of light they don't look like 24 karat gold color yet uh, but they definitely look like a 14 or maybe 18 these have the thinner pose and they're really comfortable they're not even that heavy but they do have some weight to them uh, i know that vintage pieces can be really really heavy i do have a review for you guys like I said and it's really really heavy because it's a vintage piece these are my last pair of earrings from Chanel as you can see these ones are pretty long compared to these so hopefully you guys don't mind my more lengthy sort of review and talk through these earrings because I just wanted to give you I don't know it just a more detailed observation of my experience with them so anyway these ones are the last pair of earrings from Chanel that I will feature in this video because these are my only other ones that I have uh, I don't really wear these as often although they're very very pretty and I feel like with Chanel you always have to at least buy one thing that's pearly so I think these will be my only pearly earrings but you never know because you just never know with Chanel you always <laughs> want to get more multiples of um, but I really like these ones because I like how simple and classic looking they are. I like that these ones have the two 
pearls so most of the time you'll see earrings with one pearl i have seen a lot of vintage pieces where the pearls on the uh, on the earrings have worn off chipped and whatnot so i'm definitely uh careful and i as well as i don't wear them very often so i don't foresee that happening to mine and i do store them properly i do keep them these are the only pairs that i actually keep on uh the little thing that it comes with these ones i feel like you need to be a little bit more put together to wear so i do wear these ones a little bit less but nevertheless they're really really pretty and um yeah usually i do let things go if i don't reach for them but for these ones i don't think it's worth it to sell it because i know that i will have occasions to wear them eventually so that's it for all the earrings from chanel now i'm gonna showcase all my brooches from them and i have three of them and i love all three i hmm i don't know i i, I think i wear them all equally uh so i got these gold ones first really neutral champagne gold color you can definitely still wear it with silvers because it's such a light color my next brooch is this black leather uh black lambskin one in champagne gold and it's just like a um medallion it's just so pretty and i wasn't planning on buying this one so this is from the b16 b i forget what b is it must be a seasonal yeah it is a seasonal piece so it's from 2000 they're all from 2016 and 17 because that's when i started buying them even though i wasn't looking for this one um when the essay suggested that i try this one instead i just it just looks so good with whatever I was wearing that day and I feel like with the CC I mean I would have been glad to have gotten the CC anyway but I feel like with the CC it would have been so wide because it would be like this big and on my body frame I don't actually need something this wide like this is big enough for me in terms of like size on my body frame so anything bigger than this is just gonna be like such a statement piece I don't mind it but it's just I don't necessarily need that kind of size so with this one being a little narrower and being a different shape so adding a little bit more variety to my collection because i already have these larger ones i wanted something smaller to go with lighter weight clothing so anything from t-shirts to like tops that are just really tight and well fitted um I wanted something that's smaller that can go on the collar so you can put it anywhere in the collar you can put it on a choker you can put it on any place that is just a little bit more slender and you just want to have a little bit of detail you can see the size is so much smaller than this one but this one was a lot more expensive so this one was i think this one was 550 canadian so yeah Big difference pricing wise um, they're from different times different collections this one could be a classic so I think you'll be able to find it from time to time this one I'm not sure this one is definitely a seasonal piece tribal earrings from Dior these are from my latest Europe haul and my only Europe haul actually because I've only been to Europe the very first time this year and they just look like this they have a smaller pearl and a bigger pearl and the small pearl goes in the front i'm sure you've seen a, i'm sure you've seen these a million gazillion times and they actually have a slightly thicker post but at least they don't taper from thick to thin which really does not work for me in terms of variety i have a bigger cc i have a larger cc and then i have some dangly ones i have some pearly ones so i wanted something a little different and of course i didn't mind exploring other brands Dior is definitely one of the top brands as well and this these ones are so iconic and so classic that uh, you can't go wrong with them I was debating between different material color this is my only Louis Vuitton um, necklace and jewelry piece of jewelry this is um, sterling silver so it's 92.5 silver which is a really good really nice piece of jewelry it's quite weighty actually if you ask me there's this little uh, locket pendant and um, I bought this when they first launched it last year they relaunched it again this year and they even made a little bit more variety with the bracelet and they have the bracelet versions where uh, there's the adjustable cord so it's a lot more affordable and what's good about these pieces is not only do they 
wear really well i i don't know it's still so shiny and i've had it for over a year now so for every piece of the locket line unicef locket line they will donate a portion of the money from the sale to unicef so a great cause as well plus you get a really really nice piece of jewelry the lock is actually stationary it doesn't really move around on the chain which i love i love the fact that it doesn't move around so that you don't get like the clasp in front where the pendant is so subtle you don't, can't even see it's from LV but I also love the weight of it I think this video is getting way too long already so I've decided to cut out my belts and my scarves because you guys have already seen them uh, if you haven't then I'll link the videos down below so basically I have a nice collection of belts um, I have an LV one, I have an Hermes one and I have some Gucci ones that I recently purchased and i i did the whole review and styling and everything so i'll link it all down below for you guys and in terms of shawls i have two they're from louis vuitton and i have the denim one and i also have the plain black monogram one uh they're both you know can be styled exactly the same way just different colors so i have a full video of how i style them they're older videos so if you guys want an updated version, although I don't really know why you would need one, it's just maybe the quality of the video is better, like higher resolution. But uh, in terms of how I would style them, it's exactly the same. So I'll definitely link it down below and let me know if that's enough for you guys. If not, I'll definitely go ahead and do an updated version. But I think we're down to my last piece, which is a reveal. It's a vintage piece that I recently got from eBay. I've just been really loving trying to get some really good, nice vintage finds on eBay. And so yeah, it comes in this box to reveal this. It's so heavy. <laughs> so if you guys don't know what this is, this is a belt. It's definitely a really beautifully embellished belt and it's very weighty. It's got this thick intertwined leather and hardware chain in I'm pretty sure this is 24 karat gold plated. It's so nice. And although it is a vintage piece, I don't know from which era. I looked through a lot of them. I looked through the different design ones. I uh, finally settled down with this one just because I wanted to see how it looked like. You never know if you're going to get something good, but I was so glad. It's beautiful. and. Although it's not new, I would say the condition is excellent. Uh, you can wear this over coat, over dresses, over tank tops, over a flowy shirt, over anything. You can hook it onto the chain, so anywhere on the chain really. Of course you can hook it onto the last hook as well of the chain. So you can basically customize it to higher waisted, lower waisted, and depending on the length that you get. So I got mine in the 80 centimeters. Okay, it's not that high waisted, but it, it basically sits on your, on your hip bones and on your waist. And yeah, it's probably not the best top to show you it with, but um, that's how it looks like. I think it's pretty darn cool if you ask me. And let me just make it tighter so that it's a true wasted there a little bit better but yeah it just it just looks so good not with this top but you know with a really plain black top you can move it around you can make it like on the side you can also wear it lower by doing something like this just like hanging around, you know, your hip bones. It's just so cute. You can make it more like a triangle, like that. I've never worn it like this, but you can definitely do this. So it's kind of like a choker necklace situation. And it feels really heavy because like I said, this is a heavy piece of visual belt and it's beautiful though, it's such a statement piece. So you can definitely rock it like this. Probably won't even wear it as a necklace to be honest. If Maybe if you chose one that is slightly thinner, I did go with a thicker, chunkier chain because I thought that this looked really, really nice as a belt. And I will probably get one that is thinner in the future, but 
I ended up with this one as my very first one and I love it. It looks just so good, right? It just looks so good. But like I said, in reality, I don't really know how often I'll be wearing it as a choker. It is really meant to be a belt, although you could wear it as a choker necklace. Um, so yeah, so good. It's such a good find. Now let me see if I can just... You could make it as a necklace, but I think on my body frame it just overwhelms me a little bit. So, because it's such a thick necklace, right? Let me see. If I just do it as a... Yeah, it's just too big. <laughs> but it looks great as a belt. So that pretty much wraps up my whole collection and just my sort of overview and my review and thoughts on my items. Uh, now for the belt, do I recommend it? It's really up to you. It is a vintage piece, so depending on what you find online, whatever is available, you may find some that are in really good condition like the one that I got or some that are in really poor condition. If they're in poor condition, I wouldn't get it personally. I'll try to link down below the same one that I have, a couple listings that are still available online so that if you guys are interested, you can also bid on them. Okay, so do I recommend the belt? Yes, if you're into um, embellishing your outfits know if you don't care about it because it's just gonna sit there and you're not gonna use it but if you're like me and you love to dress up your outfits or just a little add a little bit of pizzazz and just a little something something to just make it more interesting whether it's just like a piece of very classic earrings or a necklace or like in this case it's really really beautiful uh, chain belt then yeah I would say go for it it's really really good to find vintage pieces at really good price so I bid mine and it was $228 so I think it was a good price it was sent to me from Japan so I'll link down below exactly the the seller as well as a couple listings like I said for you guys if you're interested but um, it shipped super fast few days actually and also I didn't get taxed on it which is a plus uh, like always there's always a possibility of getting tax on them duty and taxes just because you know it's from out of country but it's still worth it if it's something that you are looking for that's it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you're new to my channel thank you so much for watching I hope that you guys decide to subscribe and click on the notification button because I do try to post several videos per week I always post one on Monday but I always try to post a little bit more also throughout the week either vlogs or reviews like this on luxury items and sometimes it's just like random favorites videos and things like that so hopefully you guys will stay and join my youtube family and other than that i hope that you guys have a great week and i'll talk to you again very soon bye